Hi all, so in today's video, we are going to look at the verb to have in French, which is one of the most important verbs that you will need, uh, whether you're in year seven or, or year 11 for that matter. So I will play the video first, and then I will give you a little bit more of an explanation, and then we will finish with a quiz. How to use the verb to have in French. It's always useful to be able to talk about what you have or don't have. Avoir, to have, is the second most frequent verb in French. Like lots of really useful verbs, avoir is irregular. And it goes like this. J'ai deux pères. I have two dads. Tu as les cheveux longs. You have long hair. Il a un chien. He has a dog. Elle a un chat. She has a cat. Vous avez un vélo bleu. You have a blue bicycle. There are some phrases where in English we would say I am, but in French you say I have. J'ai 17 ans. I'm 17 years old. J'ai faim. I'm hungry. J'ai soif. I'm thirsty. J'ai raison. I am right. With avoir, you can say what you and other people have. J'ai, I have. Tu as, you have. Il a, he has. Elle a, she has. Vous avez, you have. So, um, on that then, um, in terms of using avoir, um, if you want to talk about your hair or eye color, then you need to use the verb avoir. And so to say, I have black hair, it's j'ai les cheveux noirs, which is right here. If you want to say, I have blue eyes, it's j'ai les yeux bleus. Then if you want to talk about your pets and to say, I have a cat or a dog, a cat would be uh, j'ai un chat. But if you want to ask the question, do you have a cat? Then you're almost saying, you have a cat? Question mark. So, tu as un chat. If you want to talk about your brothers and sisters, then you would say, j'ai un frère. If you want to say your friend has a brother, or um, you could say, elle a un frère. She has a brother. So, in terms of... Um, what you should write down, I would recommend you write this down here. So I have is j'ai. You have tu a. And he and she has is il and elle a. So this would be worth stopping the video and writing this down in your notebook. And here are some examples of sentences that you would use the verb avoir in. Uh, past tense is also important. So when you want to talk about what you used to have over a continuous period in the past, when you were younger, you would use j'avais, which is I had or I used to have. And to avait, as you can see, avait and avait is the exact same spelling. The only difference is you have a J apostrophe um, because A is a vowel. Otherwise, it would be J-E. And for tu, it's T-U and then avait. But the spelling is the same here. And it changes for il and l, where you have a T instead of the S. And this is talking about when you were younger, saying, for example, j'avais un chien quand j'étais jeune. So I had a dog when I was little, or I used to ha have a dog when I was little. Um, if you want to talk about what you will have in the future, for example, I will have a cat, you would say, je vais avoir un chat, or je vais avoir un cheval. And as you notice here, I haven't said je vais avoir. I have made a liaison, as they call it in French, between the S and the A. Because the A is a vowel, uh, French is a very fluid language, like a river flowing. And so we would have to say, je vais avoir, almost like there's no gap. Tu vas avoir. And here there's two A's side by side, so a little bit impossible to do the liaison. So it would be il and elle va avoir. 
And so again, I would recommend you stop the video and write this down. Um, also, uh, what would be worth knowing is especially this one. When you're talking about your age, you don't use je suis. You do not say je suis en zone, which would be a direct translation into English of, of I am 11 years old. You need to use the word j'ai, j'ai en zone, which is directly translated as I have. 11 years old. So this is very important. So I would recommend you stop the video and highlight this particular phrase so that you always use j'ai, the verb avoir for ages. Another important one is il y a. There is or there are, and this one, il n'y a pas de. So I would recommend you write all three down. Um, these ones at the bottom, you won't need as much at the moment in terms of your learning. So. Let's see whether you have listened well and understood. So question one of five, what you think goes into the gap here? I have a brother. Is it a, a or a? So if you need a little bit of extra time, by all means, pause the video and guess. Well done. The answer is the last one, J. Second one, so L something a serpent she has a snake is it a a or a well done it's a and if you look at the table you wrote down for the verb you could cross reference that it is an actual fact a. Uh, this one tu un chien quand tu étais plus jeune you had a dog when you were younger so remember I said about the spelling, there were two that were spelled similarly. Well done, it's Ave. This one about talking about the future, it's from the verb aller, the V is the va. We have je vas avoir, vais avoir, and va avoir. Well done, this one here, vais avoir because it's je vais, like you say je vais au cinema. And then on the last one, il y, well done, that was quick, il y a, un piscine dans ma ville. So there you go, there you have it. So a little bit of an introduction to the verb avoir to help you out in terms of your learning for next year. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I will do another video now on être, which is another important um, verb for you to learn. Have a good day. Bye.